Good morning, YouTube. Biotechnology has had a huge impact on our world in recent years. Our topic today is on brown biotechnology, also known as arid zone and desert biotechnology. This is a specialized branch of biotechnology that focuses on the management of arid lands and deserts. The name brown is derived from the color of the soil in such regions. The goal of brown biotechnology is to make a positive impact by utilizing disease-resistant, high-quality seeds and implementing water conservation strategies in low rainfall areas. Area of Focus Under Brown Biotechnology Deserts and arid lands constitute a significant portion of the Earth's surface area. This is particularly true in Africa, where two-thirds of the continent's land area is composed of deserts or drylands, leading to adverse effects on soil conditions. Half of Africa's population resides in these regions, which are also among the world's poorest, with limited national resources and inadequate technical infrastructure. The dry and arid soil has been the primary reason for the deficits in these areas. While providing basic necessities such as food has become a pressing issue, other infrastructure, such as healthcare and education, often goes overlooked. This is where brown biotechnology comes into play. Improved Crop Management Brown biotechnology is focused on crop management in arid lands and deserts. Its aim is to develop crops that can withstand the extreme climates of these regions and grow efficiently. Brown biotechnology blends nature and technology to treat arid and desert soils with species that are highly resistant to dry and saline soils. The primary objective is to create enhanced seeds that can resist the harsh conditions of arid regions, leading to innovation, the development of new agriculture methods, and resource management. Additionally, brown biotechnology seeks to use microorganisms and other livestock animals that can be beneficial in arid regions. Coverage Brown biotechnology includes the following major research areas. Use of GMO technology for making improved seeds, develop best post-harvest preservation technology for the arid region development of saline agriculture and aquaculture developing crossbreed high-yielding livestock. Brown biotechnology has made a significant impact in the lives of people residing in arid regions, especially in the agricultural sector. We will describe some notable applications of brown biotechnology. Support our channel. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors making bite-sized videos to support micro-learning in the life sciences. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like the content thus far. Let's continue the topic. Development of Genomic Resources in SAT Crops Brown biotechnology has contributed to the development of genomic resources in SAT, semi-arid tropics, crops. This has led to the identification of several quantitative trait loci for drought tolerance, resistance to fusarium wilt and ascochyta blight in chickpea, rust in peanut, and other significant discoveries. Release of Downy Mildew Resistant Pearl Millet the International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, ICRASAT, has released the downy mildew-resistant pearl millet, named HHB67 Improved, as the first public bred product of DNA marker-assisted. Cultivar Improvement Brown biotechnology has contributed to the release of around 300 improved cultivars of mandate crops such as chickpea, groundnut, pigeon pea, millet, and sorghum, for the arid regions. Desertification Prevention A Swedish architecture student, Magnus Larsson, has conducted an experiment using Bacillus pasteurii bacteria to prevent the spread of the Sahara Desert. The bacteria excretes calcium carbonate and gluing substances, which can set the dunes like a block of concrete after 24 hours. By covering the dunes with these bacteria commonly found in wetlands regions, Larson suggests the possibility of constructing a 6,000 km wall between Djibouti and Mauritania. Bacillus pasteurii are non-pathogenic bacteria that die in the process of solidifying the sand, 
making this an eco-friendly and sustainable solution to desertification prevention. The Future of Brown Biotechnology One of the key areas of focus for brown biotechnology is the development of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, for agriculture. GMOs are plants or animals that have had their genetic material altered in some way to achieve a desired trait, such as resistance to pests or drought. In brown, where water scarcity is a major concern, GMOs that require less water to grow could be a game-changer for farmers. In order to maximize crop yield and minimize water usage, GMOs are expected to play a crucial role in the future of biotechnology in brown. Additionally, the use of microorganisms as a substitute for nutrients and water in such areas is a potential avenue for development. Brown biotechnology may also focus on low-cost methods for food preservation in high-temperature environments. Future Outlook Despite significant advancements in technology and scientific discoveries, many arid regions still face challenges in terms of food security. To address this issue, Brown Biotechnology seeks to improve the economic and social well-being of these regions and bring them up to speed with the rest of the world. Closing If you're enjoying the content you're seeing here, be sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos. Liking our videos not only shows us that you appreciate the content we're creating, but it also helps our videos reach a wider audience. Join our community of like-minded viewers by liking and subscribing to our channel today. We appreciate your support.